Some South Carolina lawmakers want to expand a law that allows parents to abandon an unwanted child. Currently, state law allows for that up to 60 days, but this bill would take it to one year. Capitol reporter Robert Kittle with the details in a 7 News State House Watch. In Horry County two years ago, a newborn baby was found in a dumpster. And in another case two years ago in Horry County, a five-month-old baby was drowned by her mother. South Carolina already has a safe haven law that allows a mother to abandon her baby up to 60 days old and not face any legal consequences as long as the baby is in good health and she gives it to a person at a hospital, police or fire station or a church or synagogue. Horry County Representative Heather Crawford sponsored a bill to expand that to allow parents to abandon babies up to one year old. If they cannot care for that child, I would much rather see them deliver that child to a safe haven location than that child end up in a creek or buried in a shallow grave or left on the side of a road or in a dumpster like the unfortunate incidents that we've seen in the past. At a Senate subcommittee hearing on the bill, DSS said it supports the goal but has concerns about the age. Children form bonds um, with the caregivers and research varies anywhere in between six months to six to nine months. So the concern would be extending the definition of infant into an age at which the child is formed those bonds and attachments and evaluating the pros and cons of that. Time is also a factor. The legislative session ends next week and the subcommittee said there's really no way for this bill to pass this year. So the subcommittee carried the bill over until next year. In Columbia, Robert Kittle, 7 News. We had a case of this very recently in the upstate of someone taking legally advantage of this law. In fact, DSS says South Carolina has an average of four or five babies a year legally abandoned under this safe haven law.